Hello friends and welcome to this week's Friday Fire. I know that I've spoken from John 14 many times on Friday Fire, but as I was reading John chapter 14 again this morning in my devotional time, something just leapt off the page at me that I want to just touch on briefly if I can uh, as you watch this video this weekend. In John chapter 14, it is a continuation of what is taking place in chapter 13. We, we have used, I have used John 14, 1 through 6, 1 through 7 in funerals and in church services all over the world, and it has greatly blessed and encouraged people. But when you put it in context of what is happening, it, it is amazing. It is an amazing word of encouragement to anyone and everyone who has fallen short of the glory of God, who is struggling with an addiction, or maybe you are dealing and, and, and applying the grace of God to overcome a besetting sin in your life. Jesus it has ended the final Passover that He will celebrate with His disciples on this earth. He has gotten down and washed their feet and showed them what true humility and servanthood is. Then He begins to talk about uh, the fact that He's going to, to be crucified and where he's going, you, we, the disciples couldn't follow him. And Peter pops off and says, why can't I follow you? I will lay down my life for you even now. And, and Jesus looked at Peter and said, really? Seriously, Peter. He said, I'm telling you this night, the, the rooster will not crow until you've denied me three times. Then immediately following that, he says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And that's what jumped off the page at me. He said, he told Peter, he said, look, in just a matter of a few hours, you're gonna, not going to deny me one time. You're not going to deny me two times. You're going to deny me three times but I'm going to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there you may be also. As I read that this morning and it exploded off the page into my spirit, I could not help but think that there are people watching this Friday Fire video this weekend that you are struggling with an addiction, you are struggling with children that have turned their back on God. Maybe you're struggling with a spouse who has told you unequivocally, I want nothing to do with your God and with your Jesus, and you feel like a failure. Maybe you're dealing with an addiction. Maybe you are uh, in the process of overcoming. You have repented, you have rebuked, and you have renounced, but yet there is a besetting sin that keeps coming up in your life that just about the time you feel like you're gaining traction in your walk with God, this thing will clip your feet out from under you. I'm not whitewashing sin, friends. I'm not, I'm not sugarcoating it. I'm not telling you it's okay. It's not okay. Sin is still a, an abomination to any people. But the good news is, is Jesus' sacrifice, His Passover blood, covers us and allows the spirit of death and destruction to pass over us if we will only acknowledge His Lordship and His Kingship of our life. John said it this way in 1 John 1, 9. He said, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. No matter how bad you have sinned, no matter how far you have walked away from God, no matter how people have rejected you, or uh, churches have rejected you, even if you feel like Jesus is rejecting you, I'm telling you right now, Jesus and the Father are not rejecting you. That's the whole reason Jesus came. He came to draw you back to Him, not just to forgive you of your sins, but to cleanse you, to wash you, 
to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Friends, Jesus has a place for you in His house and in His kingdom today. Amen. If you're in the Morgantown, West Virginia area, we would love to have you join us this Sunday morning at Harvest Family Worship Center, 800 Green Bag Road in Morgantown, West Virginia with Pastors Kevin and Danielle Summers. One service only at 10.30 a.m. And we are looking forward to a great, great time in the Lord. The Christian Church this weekend celebrates uh, the Feast of Pentecost. The, our Jewish brothers and Messianic friends will celebrate it later on in June. And so God is giving us an extra time, some extra time here to enjoy the festivals and the feast of the Lord. And I want to encourage you, friends, find you a house of God to be, find you a fellowship of believers this weekend and believe that God is going to pour out His Spirit on you as you worship and praise Him. Love you, friends. Until next time, I'm praying for the fire of the Holy Spirit of God to fall in your life this weekend.